Hi everyone, this is Liz Strauss, the Teen Slash Outreach Services Manager here at the Dover Public Library, and I'm here with another Teen Tuesday video. Uh, as you can see, as promised, we are back in the boardroom today, and we are going to be making some ornaments. Today we're going to be making a wreath and a paper ball, and as a bonus craft, we have some scratch art. And to start off today, we are going to be making the wreath because it's a little easier, so we'll use it as our, our warm up. For our wreath, we need four sheets of origami paper, and scissors, and string, and tape or glue are optional. So we're gonna start with your four sheets. For each one, fold it in half, unfold it, and you're gonna cut on that line you just made. So I'm gonna do a shortcut, hold them all together and cut on that line. So now we have eight rectangles that are twice as long as they are wide. And that's the important part. So if you um, have other kind of paper at home, you can do this with any kind of paper that you have. So um, scrapbook paper, more origami paper, just regular colored paper, whatever you want to use, just as long as it is twice as long as it is wide. So next we're going to fold each rectangle in half lengthwise with the fold toward, toward you and the cut edges away from you. So here's the open edges. This is more difficult with the camera in my way. With the folded edges. Fold towards you, open away from you. And do that to each one. Once you've got them all folded like a so, you're going to fold the corners down just like this. And then you fold the corner down to meet the folded edge. You can do that on all of them, both sides. So next, you'll end up with this shape. get here and then fold it in half. And do that to each one. And end up with a piece like this. It has created two little pockets in your shape here, or two slots, your instructions call them. 
This is uh, where another piece can, where another piece can slide in. So I'm gonna take one of my aquas. doing that all the way around. So you can see it's starting to come, come together. first one slide into the last one. So tape it or put a little dab of glue in each in each slot to make to make it stay and then throw a string around it. However you want to do it. Alright, so that's our wreath. Next we're gonna make our paper ball. So this one is more complicated and I realized I forgot to give you guys string. So if you don't have string, don't worry about it. Um, for your first one, it might be easier to not have to worry about that anyway. But I'll show you how to put in the string. First, I guess we need to know what we need. Huh? Need your flower template, colored paper. Uh, you'll need three sheets of origami paper or any other colored paper that you want. Uh, 12 of these will fit on a normal eight and a half by 11 sheet. If you want it to hang, you need a piece of string and some tape. You need scissors and you'll need a pen, pencil, something to write with. First step, trace and cut 12 of the flower petals out of the colored paper. I'm going to do another shortcut because I like shortcuts. I've secured the sides here so that I can just cut all three pieces at once. Then on your template, you'll see how it has these lines about Halfway through, you're going to cut there. You're going to cut straight across and about halfway through each side. And you're going to end up with 12 of these little bits. If you like the look of these, but this was too hard or too slippery, you can try just regular paper or even some cardstock. So you have a piece of string. Just gonna tie it in a loop. Not at the end. And this is uh, this is an optional step for you guys. You guys want to hang it up. So you're gonna pick one for your top. This, this petal is going to be my top. You're going to put a hole right in there. If you have a needle and thread, you can poke a hole through the paper with the needle and thread. Um, 
or a hole punch, like a, a small hole punch, very tiny. You guys are not going to be me and you're not going to go all the way through. <laughs> Take the string through the back and tape it down. That's our top. We're going to start using the slits to join the petals together. So each one on each one of these, another flower is going to go. And you're just going to slide them together, just like so. Go to the next one. And this one, it's detached here and here. it in there and slide these two together. And one more to attach these to. The last one of the row. Wherever they're coming together, I'm gonna attach them. So it is half done. And it looks kind of like a cup. And these are gonna start to go in because it's gonna mirror itself. So it'll look just like that on the other side. Here. So it's all snug and behaving. This so one I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go this one. Three spots. Here. Here. And here. And the other side here, Brave, needs to hook up to this one. left with a nice hole on top. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and five spots. And that is where our last piece will go. Attach it at each of the slits. Finally, I'll show you how I did the scratch art ornament. Now, our bonus product, scratch art. So you've got, well, you stay there then. Got your ornament, got 
piece of string, and you've got a scratcher. You just take your tool and you draw on it. And you make little designs. And you can do all kinds of little, little designs. That's all I've got for you today. Uh, thanks for joining me and see you next week. Bye.